Hey, welcome back to the channel. Since we're in the middle of a Can-Am Spider series, being Stan from Rancher Riker Garage's Can-Am Spider F3 Limited, I thought I'd talk about this, this article that popped up about a super spider concept designed by John Mark Vincent. Uh, the main idea about it is that the, the front wheel sections are able to extend and retract in this design. So let's just talk about it because I want to get some comments rolling on on what you guys think uh, you know this this could be or could have been. Throw mouse moto. Yeah, this is just something fun. <laughs> Whether you like this design uh, concept, like I said, by John Mark Vincent. This is this is something I saw on a write up by Troy Turner on a site called Yanko Design. And I will post the link, of course, in the video description so you can check it out. Because I'm not really giving you any info on it. I'm just, I'm just talking about it. Um, so you know, the real info is going to be on the article. And uh, I just wanted to show off the design and get some, some actual writers out there or, or people that are familiar with just spiders or Rikers. Because this article was written six years ago, which it doesn't have any reference to uh, a Riker at all because the Riker didn't exist. So I'd like to uh, have heard what uh, Troy Turner, the, the writer of this article, how I would incorporate it, the, the Rikers design into it based off what we're seeing here on the Super Spider. This is crazy. I mean, this is definitely like some some Voltron. Like, let me know what kind of vibes you're getting in the comments. Uh, like Voltron, maybe, maybe little Transformers going on here or any other type of anime for the most part or futuristic uh movies but when you look at it uh for sure straight on so the so the white design in the article they're calling that what uh direction one the avant-garde and uh and that's just to separate it from direction two so it's basically two concepts for this design the the direction two is the black one you'll see in the pictures uh calling it the, the modern classic and and there is and there is some difference between the two but looking at the white one that's, that's definitely like some Voltron Power Rangers type, type thing going on and lot, lots of plastic I guess uh, is the one thing that I'm noticing between the two uh, the avant-garde and the the modern classic and you can see it in the swing arm and there's gonna be a side-by-side -side picture if I'm not showing it yet on here but uh, like I said in the intro the, the concept behind the design is just trying to bring uh, the three wheel try concept by can-am closer to you know the fun you'd be having on on two wheels because uh they felt that the, you were just not getting that at least the writer uh like i said troy felt about it and that you know a new concept would be pretty cool and this one being that the front wheels will extend or retract based off of you uh, uh the riding stance that you're tr you're trying to do based off of varying varying driving conditions so and like like he says in the article like ready to lane split it's like i don't know dude because even even in a riker that's i mean of course you cats watch people out there doing some wild stuff and yeah they lane split in them or whatever but they're trying to say you know bring in the wheels even more than that so right now i think they're pretty they're pretty in so i don't know how far the design doesn't really show it that far in uh, how it would be compared to a Riker at least, but that, that'd be pretty cool to see if it could and could narrow down the Riker and what kind of a ride that, that would change or, or the spider. Like I said, I'm probably going to keep bringing up the Riker and I think they would have too, if it existed back when this concept, uh, design came out and maybe how cool this kind of looks and the sleekness of it. Maybe they kind of adapted that to the Riker design because I think that, uh, the Riker design does have a cool aerodynamic look, uh, more so than the, the spiders back then, uh, especially back in this article. So you can check out the design and kind of see for yourself. Uh, now what I'm, what I'm looking at it and that would be cool. And, uh, but how about just this design, man, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool just to have this design? It doesn't have to retract the front wheel and, and, uh, you know, separate, extend all that stuff like that. Cause like, that sounds like money, but. This sounds like a, looks like a cool Can-Am on-road vehicle, period. So let's just, let's just do that, dude. But I do like the idea of it going slimmer to outward. And you can see the way it looks from the top, uh, from any of the top views. 
that that's pretty that's a wild look and like i said the design one's gonna have more plastic it looks like especially on the swing arm you can see them side by side that proposal one and the proposal two with that black modern classic that's looking like something more that would exist even the plastic in the front there in front of the uh the fenders uh that that's kind of chopped down too and then you can see just the overall look of the direction to modern classic that that just looks like something that could come out like not just some wild futuristic space uh concept like most stuff and the, and the, the designer is saying that he's getting the concept from a falcon just the way that uh you know they'll spread their wings and then come through and that and that's and that's pretty cool too uh and, uh, and given the spider the ability to to ability to enclose the track um, and uh, to optimize aerodynamics like like a bird for higher velocity and it shows some of the vehicles uh, you know being like a high performance car uh, mixed with the spider and then that's what's making the super spider based off the design but what I do like because like like I was saying just a second ago is like yeah yeah the wheel the wheel stuff is cool but the design looks cool uh, and it's something different than what we have been seeing between the spiders. I mean, look, in the Riker design, they just came out with the same original design that, that is on my 2019. So having a different look would be cool, period. But they're saying that the, the performance benchmark is going to be based off, what in this concept, we based off a of Kawasaki H2RR, which is supercharged 998cc, dude, in line four. And it's like let's just have that too <laughs> let's just get a spider which is that and it looks like this and then we'll just call it off let's just go ahead and use that design if you can't get the you know the front wheel retract extend you know set up then we're not going to trip about it dude we didn't want to pay for that part of it anyways probably um and then you can see uh this this was a little this is cool that's the one that really gets anime futuristic and this is the theme exploration little image uh, in the article and you can see the way that back seat just floats which is which is cool which is kind of what they ended up doing or, or trying to play off of that on the Riker so like I said I could see some inspirations from some of these designs and that and that's usually the way the concept stuff works um, the way I see it is you know they get real creative with it they put some stuff out there and then you know people look at it and they go yeah yeah i like this part i like this part and then incorporate what what actually comes out um but way cool i just saw it pop up and uh i thought it'd be giving you guys it's cool seeing articles and stuff like that people, somebody shared it on on social media and uh and it's cool just to talk about it so we can drop some comments and, and just share it on youtube too and just and just talk about it and see what's up and it just seemed fitting because i have a, a spider series going on right now with that uh limited uh, f3 limited uh 2016 so we'll do the next video if you haven't watched the other two it's just me doing a walk around on some of the mods stan has done to it since he bought it it wasn't in the best condition best condition when he bought it so uh check that out here about some of the stuff that he's done you can see some of it there he's got all kinds of screens and stuff and it's a it's a killer ride now and i did get to ride it uh, you can see in this footage here that was in the last video and the next we're just going to do another walk around I, I do it immediately after i ride just to let you go that was how i liked it and, and how it was and i'll go over some of my favorite features thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to thrill mouse moto i was paid to say this since barry said he felt kind of weird asking he also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.